Before we launch into the perils of ambiguous anchor text, we need to cover some key terms. This is anchor text. It can be a word. Sometimes it's more than one word. Sometimes it's a sentence. And it really should never be a sentence. So we'll talk about that one in a second. Anchor text can appear in a different color. It might be underlined or it could be both. When a person selects the anchored text, they are redirected to either another place on a web page or an entirely new web page. How? Anchored text camouflages its true self. The hyperlink. Hyperlinks are like magical transporters, escorting you from web page to web page in your quest for deeper meaning in the world wide web. Web pages live in web sites, and at last count, there are over 2 billion websites. So that's a lot of web pages. Let's review. When you select anchored text, a hyperlink transports you to a web page. I'll use my health behavior course as an example. I created this study guide on my favorite community health theory, diffusion of innovations. I mean, I could talk about this theory for hours, but this video needs to be uh, hopefully less than seven minutes. So diffusion of innovations describes how different types of people adopt something new and how that something new spreads out to many people, otherwise known as a community. There are five types of adopters. See right here. I want my students to better understand laggards. Here's my anchor text. The hyperlink takes me here. Ah, laggards, always resisting newfangled ways. Recall from our previous video that some students need screen readers to perceive information. Hey, Tony. Screen readers can skim a web page, meaning the student can quickly move through the information on a page. Tony is using his screen reader to learn about everyone's favorite topic, quasi-governmental health organizations. Here's what this sounds like without any hyperlinked text. Quasi-governmental health organizations have some official health responsibilities but operate like voluntary health organizations. Although they derive some of their funding and legitimacy from governments and perform tasks typically considered government work, they do not require government supervision. Like non-governmental health organizations, quasi-governmental health organizations also receive private donations. Good stuff, right? Screen readers can also navigate from hyper to hyperlink, skipping the text in between. And that's helpful, right? A person can go back and jump to a specific hyperlink without having to re-skim the entire page. Let's say that I want Tony to learn more about sections of this paragraph, specifically voluntary health organizations and non-governmental health organizations. I decide that this web page and this web page will do the job. I need to insert these web page addresses as hyperlinks somewhere in this paragraph. That's right. I need to pick anchor text. Oh, and I'm using Word. Remember from the alt text video that whatever starts in Word jumps over to a PDF? The same thing happens here. When Tony skims by hyperlink, his screen reader will say the word link and then the anchor text. Now that part is important. You now have everything you need to play the ambiguous anchor text detective game. Let's see, I'll put the first hyperlink here. And the second hyperlink here. Hit it, Tony. Link, organizations. Link, organizations. Huh. The word organization appears like four times in this paragraph. Do you think he'll have any idea of where this hyperlink will take him when he selects it? Well, let's try again. I'll add a sentence here. And here. And we'll make this anchor text for voluntary here. And non-governmental here. Tony? Link. Click here. Link. Click here. 
Oh, and by the way, the word click assumes everybody in the world uses a mouse to activate a hyperlink. This isn't accurate, and it's also not inclusive. Okay, so let's try it. What? Huh? Oh, you're getting hungry? Well, I mean, we're almost done. No, I know it's Meatloaf Monday. We're almost finished. How about this? And this. Link, quasi-governmental health organizations have some official health responsibilities but operate like voluntary health organizations. Link, like non-governmental health organizations, quasi-governmental health organizations also receive private donations. Wow, this is getting progressively worse. Um, I'm sorry, Tony. Okay, fine. You know what? No more anchor text. Here's the full webpage address for this one here, and here's the other. Link https slash slash pubmed.nspy.nlm.nih.gov slash 12318296 slash link https colon slash slash pubmed.ncv Make it stop! Okay, I think you get the point. The first three were perfect examples of ambiguous anchor text. Ambiguous anchor text contains a word, or perhaps more odious, full-on sentences that do not make sense out of context. Tony should not have to read any of the text around the anchor text or see any nearby images in order to know where the hyperlink will take him. And uh, we shall never speak of this one again. Here's the right way. I'll insert here and here. Link, voluntary health organizations. Link, non-governmental health organizations. Perfect. Tony now has a fairly good idea where he's headed when he selects these hyperlinks. Let's all give Tony a round of applause for being a good sport. Oh, I guess he really was hungry.